Good morning. Today is Saturday, June 12th. I'm Pastor Sean, and this is your morning prayer. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our uh, light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. All right. I think, actually, we are kind of caught up in the reading so that um, if we switched over to the, the gospel texts, um, they will be ones that we haven't covered <laughs> in the uh, near, just the, the recent past. Um, but as I saw the, uh, looking at the psalm today, I, I wanted to kind of, I think we've done the psalm all, all this week, so I figured I'd finish out the week with the psalm, and then we'll, we'll see what we do next week. But uh, the psalm uh, uh, for today is Psalm 37, verses 1 through 7. And that reads like this. Fret not yourself because of evildoers. Be not envious of wrongdoers. For they will soon fade like the grass, and wither like the green herb. Trust in the Lord, and do good. Dwell in the land, and befriend faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light, and your justice as the noonday. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he's spoken to us by his son. All right, so um, this one is, is kind of what we have here is bookended by this one uh, thought about uh, fretting not because of evildoers. Um, in fact, it, uh, um, in the very beginning, we, we fret not because of evildoers. At the end, it's fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way. And uh, be not envious of wrongdoers. And then uh, at the end, fret not over the man who carries out evil devices. So um, not being so um, caught up in, in the works of, of those who do evil, of those who um, are prospering in their own way and not in God's way. Which um, <laughs> is an interesting kind of thought because, you know, um, you, you, we go through scripture and, and it's like, why aren't we supposed to call out, um, you know, call out people and call them to repent? You know, call you know basically call them to faith. You know, repent, repent of your sin and 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 believe, repent and be baptized. Um, but the interesting thing about that, and um, when you go through the epistles, it's a, it's a fascinating sort of thing. When you read that, most of the time, I don't really have a percent, percentage, but you, what you find is that more often than not, when when Paul is well, I mean, all the time when Paul is calling out people. Um, account on account of their uh, sin, when calls, Paul is calling people to repentance, and even when he's cur- encouraging us to do likewise, um, it is always within the context of the church. You know, um, that's all, I mean, these letters that he's writing are to churches, okay, and so it is always dealing with the behavior of Christians within the church, and there's even a point uh, where Paul will say that. Um, you know, he makes this distinction that we, you know, we are called to, um, you know, that we need to call the, our brothers and sisters in Christ to repentance, uh, and almost to say that we don't worry so much about those outside the kingdom. You know, they, 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 we, they don't. Basically, we need to make sure that the the Christians inside the church are hearing the law, <laughs> um, because they've kind of. Um, the instinct of the Christian is to kind of forget about it. You know, I'm saved. What do I need of the law? I can do whatever I want now. And it's like you can just hear Paul, uh, Paul, Paul face palming like that. Um, 
And so the, the focus really is on those inside the church, calling them to, to the life that they have been brought into. Um, and I think this is, this is a good thing for us to remember. Not that we shouldn't be concerned with, with other people and people outside the church. I mean, certainly we should. And, uh, and the evil that goes on in the world, certainly. But I think, um, and this isn't a new thing, but I think the uh, technology that we have today and the news and media um, on television and certainly the internet, th- that instant communication and the, uh, the way the media is, is um, presented we are um, we are so hyper focused on everybody else, you know, especially social media too. It it gives us um, you know the the very worst of people, and and you know it, that that's what gets hits. That's what you know gets all the looks. So we 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 see see. <laughs> more of just the worst of people. And so it just, um, and it consumes us, you know, and I see, but usually the people who are arguing on, arguing about things online, you know, it's, it's, it's because the thing that they're arguing against, the person who's brought it up is brought it up in the most sensationalistic way, because that's how you get, you know, that's how you get the, the, the visibility, right? That's how you go viral. And so we end up, even, even if we are only, um, somewhat engaged with social media you know like i don't really get all that engaged in, in facebook or anything like that but in our our heads we start having these like arguments and, and 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 start thinking about these things all the time and in a way it's it's like we we really do need to remember this psalm you know fret not yourself because of evildoers you know do, be not envious of, of what they're doing and what they're receiving you know and because verse two says you know for they will soon fade like grass the wither like the green herb. Justice will come to those who do evil. You don't need to worry about it. You're not the one who's bringing justice. <laughs> that justice belongs to the Lord. Okay? So what are we supposed to do? It's like, just trust in the Lord and do good. Verse 3. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Focus on God. Focus on your life. Focus on what you are doing. Not what everyone else is doing. Focus on on loving God and loving and serving your neighbor. That's it. Um, that's the law. That's what God desires of us to do. Uh, not when we don't do it because we think we're gonna, you know, save ourselves, but we do it because we're human beings, and God has has made us holy. And this is what holy human beings do. Okay, delight yourself in the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart. Now, that's a fun one because we think, oh, whatever I want. It's like, no. See, the thing is, is that when when we delight in the Lord, when when God uh, fills us with His Holy Spirit, He transforms, He creates in us a what a new heart that craves and desires the things of God. And so, once we realize that, you know, we still, um, you know, we we have our sinful flesh that we fight against, but we have this new heart that is created through faith. Okay, and that desires the things of God. So we can delight ourselves in the Lord, knowing that he will give us the desires of our heart, the heart that yearns for the things of his, the, the heart that desires for things like righteousness, holiness, faith, uh, love, forgiveness. And see, when we realize that those are the things we should desire, we know, know and fully understand that God delivers those things through Jesus Christ. So we do have all the desires of our heart. So again, what do you, why do you need to spend your time worrying about so many other people? You know, when you can see that God fulfills what you need and everything you have, um, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light, your justice as the noonday. See, we're, we're so focused on everyone else's righteousness, everyone else's justice. You know, I hope God brings justice to that person, you know, and, and punishes them, whatever. And, oh, oh, that person is not, you know, he's doing evil. <laughs> Why, why are you so focused <laughs> and fretting about everything else when he says he will bring forth your righteousness, you know, yours. Focus on your righteousness. Not that this, the righteousness you achieve, because you can't, but the righteousness that comes to you through Jesus Christ. Um, so, yes, this psalm, again, th- Psalm 37, 1 through 7, excellent for dealing with kind of the, the general mood of today where we are so invested in everything else except our own lives. You know, we're so caught up in the activities of everyone else. And, and usually, 
when, whether it's over the media or social media or whatever, usually it's lives of people who we don't even have any connection with whatsoever. You know, celebrity culture, oh my lord. It's like, you have no vested interest or stake in that whatsoever. And yet we are consumed with that. And caught up, and we have opinions on all of that. And, uh, yeah, this is just a very much a reorient your focus. Pay attention to what's in front of you. And see the people who need you today. Um, that is far better than worrying about this, that, or the other. Worrying about people who it's just are so outside of your realm of influence. And, um, you know, fret not because of what they do. Fret about what you're doing. You know, so... It's an excellent psalm, I think, perfect for um, our culture and society today, um, and a good reminder, you know, that uh, about where our, our focus should be. So, let us pray. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you safely brought us the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger but that all of our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Thank you very much for joining me uh, this week and today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope uh, this helps you get back on track with uh, with keeping keeping your mind on, on the things that are important, and I look forward to seeing you again on Monday. So, until then, peace be with you. <laughs>